Guys, I've just checked into my hotel here. If you want to get around a city like this, it's a monster city. You can take the local transit, you can take the subway, but just for a 10 to 15 minute cab ride or taxi ride, it cost me about one euro 50 or about a dollar 50, we'll call it. I checked into this hotel and I was kind of, at, at first I didn't really, I've never heard of the name, Glenview ITC, I'll put it in the description box below. I was kind of wondering what is a hotel uh, of four or five star value in China really like? To my surprise, for $85, this is what they did. This room is approximately anywhere from about 40 meters, we'll say, 400 square feet. A traditional hotel is about 200 uh, square feet or 20 meters. I didn't ask for this upgrade. I didn't tell them anything. I was a blogger or anything like that. I simply put a note when I was checking in the other day into the suggestion box that it was my wife and I's anniversary. And I didn't think anything of it. So as soon as I got to the hotel here, they said to me, oh sir, we want to congratulate you and your wife on your anniversary. For that reason, we're going to give you an early check-in and we're gonna upgrade your room for you for free. And that price of $85 also includes breakfast. Now, most hotels that I've been staying at lately haven't given me an ensuite bathroom like this. Now, the Glenview is probably a name you've never heard. I've never heard of it. But just look at the treatment that they've given us. They put me on the executive level. Up in the clouds of Chongqing, as you can see, I probably wouldn't even fathom to get a hotel like this in New York that would probably cost me five to eight hundred dollars. Now, Chongqing is not known to us Westerners. We mostly know Shanghai or Beijing. If you want to come to a city where pretty much no one knows anything about and have an amazing, exciting time and be treated uh, with the utmost respect, this is the place to do it and give hotels like this one. You don't have to stay here at the Glenview, but give hotels like this a chance because they are going out of their way to make us Westerners very welcome. I mean, this is truly a great hotel room and we're very, very excited to actually stay here. All right, so we're gonna head out. Uh, we have a meeting today. Okay guys, thank you very much. You know I'm not big on hotel vlog uh, reviews, room reviews. I just wanted to tell you this one because I was pretty excited about it. I know what's yeah. happening, but they American called guys us. Love country music and I think they wanna come in. From Texas. I think you wanna set up some swans. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. So it's morning time here in China, Chongqing, a little bit rainy today. I was um, contacted by uh, a company here called I Chongqing. Not quite sure what our meeting's going to be about, but they seem to be pretty uh, switched on media organization within uh, China here. 15th floor. Uh, is this a money tree? Yes. That's a Chinese money tree here. It looks like we're in the middle of a uh, daily news group here in Chongqing. So they called us, so we're going to go meet them and see what they're all about. Another interesting feature here I've seen in some of the elevators. Friday. Changed the mats in the elevator to every day of the week. I think that's kind of interesting. I've never seen that in a Western building, but okay, here we go. Sorry we're late. So my focus is to go to countries that are not necessarily covered. So now I've been to Chengdu, Shanghai, uh, Shenzhen, Hong Kong, and now I'm in Chongqing to make videos of your country. Because in the western part of the world, we people don't understand China. When I came to China 10 years ago, I didn't know the city even existed. And many of the people that I know back home still don't know the city exists. Like they know of Beijing and Shanghai and, and like Guangzhou and, and Hong Kong and all those places. But this place is just so new to them still. Um, to me, it feels very China. So I've lived in Beijing and Shanghai and they were so big and so modern and so bustling and so busy that I felt like I was in any other Western major city. So Chongqing has, has struck this 
incredible balance between being a city that has a lot of tradition and culture and history that is preserved but is still advanced and modern enough that you can have a comfortable life and you can find everything that you need. <laughs> when I get back home and I start putting out these videos, my message is going to be, there are travel bloggers in this world that have seen everything, but nobody has seen probably one of the most interesting cities on the planet. Yeah. And this is one right here. Here is one. I absolutely truly believe it. So what is then the message of Ai Chung Ching? Is it try to bring is it try to get the message out to foreign countries about China, the city? That's the yes. number one goal? Yes. Yes. We, we want more and more foreigners to know about the city, about the, the people, about the culture, about the uniqueness of you have said. So we just had a meeting here in the office and we're gonna have a photograph the editor-in-chief <laughs> and her wonderful reporter. Photo here with the beautiful logo on Ai Chung Ching and I'll tell you all about the meeting after we're done. Uh, if you yes. could you give us a screenshot and sure. send it to you. So do they change the carpet here every day? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, right? it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> to remind you it's a one year. The size of this uh, cafeteria in, a, in an office tower for staff is huge. I mean, it's the size of a... This is just a little cafeteria. The main one is closed. Oh, this is the little one. This could feed an army. Wow, that is generous. That is massive. Right, this is rice noodle. That looks very spicy. Uh, yours, we asked for like the non-spicy one. The sauce of the noodle. The sauce. Mm -hmm. The sauce of the noodle. So this is not spicy. Uh, and we ask him for maybe a little bit spicy. Point. Uh -huh. I'll know pepper. right away. I'm usually really good. See, I can pick beef up, no problem. Try the beef. Then. But the the noodles are tricky. How are you doing the noodles? You do like this. Yes. A little twist, okay. Like that. Okay. Wait. Can you feel the ice? We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had a very interesting meeting here. I'm at the Chongqing Daily News Group. I reached out to this uh, publication called I Chongqing. And What's amazing is they got back to me. They're looking at this market on how can they promote uh, our taxi will be out front. How they can promote uh, Chongqing to the rest of the world to foreigners. And uh, what's interesting is is that yes, China knows about Chongqing, but the rest of the world doesn't. And they're trying to come up with creative ways to get the message out to tourists, to, in, to bring tourists into the country. So I reached out to the publication to try to get a better understanding on what's going on in Chongqing. This city has 30 million people plus. It's known throughout China for many things, for its hot pot, its beautiful women. It's also known for its hot springs. And it's very China here. It's not like Shanghai or Beijing that has those pockets of Western influence that you feel relaxed. It's hard to know about these things because they're in behind, I would call, the Chinese part of the internet. And there's not many Westerners that have come to Chongqing. And that's what I Chongqing is trying to do. They're trying to get the message out to the rest of the world about how amazing this city is. It really, truly is amazing. The people are warm and open. They invited us back out uh, in a couple of days to show us some sights because they so want to get the message out about how wonderful this city is. It truly is amazing. So we're back at the room. Oh, what a day. Um, it was quite a busy day. Uh, they brought us a fruit dish and some of their snacks. Let's see what some of their snacks is. Whoever can guess on my channel what that snack is, I'll send it to you. I thought these were going to be gummy bears or something, but they're another crunchy item. This looks like, I'm not sure if that's fish or something. <laughs> this is kind of like a, a bread, like a, um, a pretzel, a sesame seed sweet thing. I'm not even sure what those are, 
So it's very nice of them to give us that, but I guarantee you, um, I will stay in very good shape here in China because I don't understand what the snack food is and I probably won't experience too much of it. That took a bit of time. And there's a letter here on the bed. <laughs> and it says the following. Love is dear. Happy wedding anniversary. I wish to... I'm just... I'm, I'm reading this how they spell it, okay? And how they wrote, wrote this letter. I wish to two happy people for a future of dreams come true. Congratulations from Glenview Annie Z. And this letter was actually handwritten and it looks like it probably takes us a few minutes to get these swans off our bed here we'll come back and deal with that later so we're going to go enjoy the fantastic view here